Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about ChatGPT and should you get the pro version as a developer or as, a, as an entrepreneur or just or as a regular person, right? So how much does the ChatGPT version pro or pro version cost? Um, basically, it's around $42. I know it's a weird number. You're like, wait, 42? Why didn't they just make it 40? Why didn't they just make it 50? I don't know. You got to ask them. Now, I'm going to be honest. If you're using ChatGPT for development, right, and you're only using it to ask questions about, hey, how do I write this with queries or like, you know, my SQL query or Postgres or if I use this for, with MongoDB, how do you do it um, like this? Or you're asking, you know, those simple questions like, uh, Hey, how do you build a component? How do you build a button, right? For simple things like that, I will say stick to GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is about $10 and can do pretty much the exact same thing and give you some really good answers. And again, it's integrated directly into VS Code. So you don't have to leave your text editor to continue writing your code, right? Now, for someone who is using ChatGPT for more than just code, for example, writing articles, writing emails, right? Uh, maybe doing some research, um, you know, asking it questions that might go beyond just the code or, you know, for ideas on, on a business or creating like a product description, etc. I think at $42, the price is really good. Right? Because if you go in and use other AI services, for example, Jarvis.ai, right? That service costs about $50 a month. And to be honest with you, you're gonna get that with ChatGPT plus more. Okay. With Jarvis.ai, you're only gonna get uh be able to write like articles and things like that. Uh, but with ChatGPT, you could actually you know questions about any topic right and also too you could even go into the code that you might have and you can say hey chat gpt could you explain this can you tell me why does this work can you look at this code and, and break it down for me on what's happening so again chat gpt will go the extra mile and give you that answer and also to again help you with your articles help you with your descriptions your emails etc whatever it is that you want to write it also can do that so again at a price of 42 dollars it's not bad it's not bad at all right especially because if you look into like the ai services that's out here and you compare them right you got github copilot which can only give you you know examples or uh, autocomplete you know your code right and that costs ten dollars then you have something like mid journey which is around i think 30 35 dollars which helps you generate images right so it's on that price range of 35 dollars then you have something like jarvis uh that ai which can go in and, and generate articles and you know blogs and youtube descriptions and things like that and that costs around 50 dollars so when you think about it chat gpt is like almost in the middle it's somewhere in the middle right because it is providing more than just text okay and and again if you use it for its full potential you definitely can get your money back right for example if you are an email developer right and you are freelancing on fiber or upwork or you have your own clients now you can go in and provide an extra service to your clients and make your you know your emails um you know a little bit more attractive for example you could say hey i will build your email template and then i will also create um let's say a three email sequence right or five email sequence and then now you could go in and say that's the pro version if you want the you know the ultimate version right let's say there's always like three tiers that you could charge somebody say 150 dollars for an email template let's say now you're charging 250 for the pro version and then now you're asking for like the ultimate package uh you could charge 500 dollars and say hey i will write you the email sequence and i will also build uh, your campaigns in MailChimp or ConvertKit or Active Campaign, etc. When you think about it, you're gonna make your money back 
um, from that, you know, that service that you're providing for just $42. And then not only that, that you could then from there use it for other things within your business. Like, hey, you're building a new page for SEO. For example, you're writing an article on why emails are important and you're trying to target a keyword uh, for finding an email developer, let's say, right? And that's your article. You could have uh, Chad GPT help you build that. So not only are you using it for the code, you're also using it for providing extra services um, that maybe uh, you can add to whatever service you're already providing to people. But then you also have the extra things where you can use it for other pieces for your business. So again, $42 is definitely worth it. It's not money that, you know, you'd be like, man, it's $500 a month. It's $42. It's definitely worth it. So, you know, don't don't cheapen out and be like, man, I'm not going to pay for the pro version. Plus the fact that, you know, by paying for the pro version, uh, you don't have to wait on a, on a queue. You don't have to wait until, you know, people are not using it. And, you know, and when you're asking a question, like it's not going to go in and, and, and take 30 minutes to go and answer it. I mean, it doesn't take 30 minutes, but it takes like a good two, three minutes sometimes when it's super busy. So if you want that instant response, pay that $42. It's worth it. You get what I'm saying? Like you're going to get your money back. So again, it's all up to you, um, whatever value you, you see to it. Uh, me personally, like I said, uh, don't pay the $42 unless you're going to take full advantage of what everything that ChatGPT provides. Um, again, if you're just using it for code or just simple debugging, things like that, you might as well just use GitHub Copilot. It's $10 and you have it right there on VS Code. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, listen, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Just wanted to do a quick video. I think it's a cool topic uh, to talk about right now, especially because I know people are searching about this and seeing if, if it's worth it to them. Um, and again, if you guys want to learn how to code and you want somebody to help you get into the game, get you into the tech industry, right, with alternative ways of getting in, right, if you're seeing that you're having too much competition in a certain route that you're going for, or it seems like you're going to have to learn so much to be able to get your first job as an email developer or, sorry, as a front-end developer or as a whatever software engineer, whatever role you're going for, you know, there's alternative ways, you know, you got email development, you got content editing, you got webmaster, um, you got WordPress, you got Shopify, right? And there's a whole bunch of other ways that we can help you out at codingphase.com. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the links below and get your, that 20% off too. You know what I mean? I'm always trying to help people save some money. So again, use the description links that's there that will also give you guys some discounts all right so anyways man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com peace